Okay, good afternoon guys. Hope you are doing great today. We have, inshallah, and you listen in uh, our readers and writers new book and a new part or let's say the usual part of uh, our week. Uh, so today we have like a spelling and already we discussed about that part and we said that a spelling is different than a pronunciation. When I pronounce the word, it's not the same way I spell it, okay? Today we have <coughs> uh, a new lesson in, in our spelling is about consonant digraph SH. Okay, so consonant digraph. So when do I say that this uh, letter is consonant or is vowel? So I talk about sounds. Don't say that we have like letter, con consonant letter or vowel letter. Letters is it like uh, are just like symbols. Okay, we write a way of writing. When I write the, the, the letter, I just write it. So I don't know that letter is like uh, consonant or vowel without a pronouncing. So I have to pronounce the letter just to know this letter sound not like the letter itself as a sample or as a writing. So this letter sound is consonant sound or this letter sound is vowel sound. So we talk about the sound of the letter. Okay. So here consonant digraphs that means I have two consonant sounds. Don't say that we have co two consonant letters. Now we have two consonant sounds. We join them together just to make one digraph consonant sound. One digraph consonant sound. That means these two sounds, when they join together, they produce a new sound. So I say, if I want to separate these two sounds, so I say sa sound. I have sa sound as a consonant sound and ha sound. So you say that, Mister, we uh, that that is the letter H. Yes, correct. It's the letter H. According to the name of that letter, we call it like H. This is the letter of of, of uh, the, this is the letter's name. When I uh, when I want to like uh, uh, identify the letter, so I say H. It's H letter. This is the way of spelling. This is about the spelling. And S, you say S. This is S letter. This is the name of the letter. This is the spelling. But when I say sa sound, this is a pronunciation. Ha sound, this is a pronunciation. So the pronouncing is sa sound and that is ha sound. Okay, what about joining these two letters together? Or let's say, what about joining these two sounds together? What do they produce? So they produce a new sound. So what is the sound of today? Let's know. Today we have like three letters joined together. We call them digraph. Digraph, this is ready. You can get it when you recite the Holy Quran. Okay, when you recite the Holy Quran, you get the meaning of digraph. How do I join two letters together just to pronounce new letter? Okay, how do you pronounce that? Okay, in the Holy Quran, you get that term, digraph. So C-I-A, C-I-O, T-I-A, T-I-O, S-I-O, we pronounce them as S-H sound. So you say, Mr. S-H sound, A. Okay, be careful. So this is not S-H sound. This is S-H letter. Okay, S-H letter, T-I-A letters. T-I-O, T-I-A, T-I-O, S-I-O, equal S-H letters. Okay, what about the sound? Right now we are going to check the sound together. The sound of SH letters, the sound of these two digraph like letters, like the way when you warn somebody to be silent or to be quiet. Somebody, sometimes you ask somebody uh, is making like noise, okay, and talking with loud voice. You ask him just to be quiet because there is a meeting, there is a uh, sleepy, uh, let's say sleepy baby or something is, is there. So he must be quiet or he's in public, like a place or a hospital or whatever. So you use that sound to say, Shh. this is the way of pronouncing that sound. Shh. The action of being or the intonation of being silent. 
to be quiet. It's the same way of pronouncing that. That means CIA, CIO, TIA, TIO, SIO. We pronounce them as shh sound. Yes, of course. Okay. So here, for example, before like checking the picture, we have here we have the word nation, N A T I O N. The pronunciation is nation. That means CIO, we pronounce them as sh or sh sound. That means we have sa and ha joined together to make that sound. What about the spelling? And this is what I always talk about it. Okay, when you spell the word, it's not the same that you pronounce it. So I, when I pronounce a word such, such like nation, so I say N-A-T-I-O-N. Okay, so what about the spelling N-A-S-N-S-H-N? This is incorrect spelling. Why? Because T-I-O, we pronounce it as sh sound, but when we write it as a spelling, we write it T-I-O. It has the same sound. It has the same sound, but doesn't have the same spelling of the sound. Hope that is clear. Okay, so nation, the way of the spelling, it's N-A-T-I-O-N. The way of pronunciation, it's N-A-S-H-N. Okay? Okay, so let's check that. We have here, Jeff just shows us how that man is making like uh, uh, the uh, manner of being quiet, okay? Or the intonation of being quiet and being silent. It's the same way of the sound. Shh. Okay, so let's uh, pronounce the words we have today about that sound and let's know how to pronounce them. Most of, uh, of like uh, learners, they pronounce, they, they um, do like uh, many mistakes when they pronounce the T-I-O or when they get the uh, letters T-I-O or T-I-A or S-I-O or uh, C-I-A, C-I-O in the, in the word. They do not how to pronounce it. They pronounce it according to its spelling. And the ways I warn you guys, the way of spelling is different than the way of pronunciation. When you pronounce the word, you should check the specialized people of a pronunciation or the native people. And when you spell the word, you should like focus on each letter that you write it. That letter is correct or not. It had that letter or not. But when I pronounce the word, forget the spelling. And when you spell the word, forget the pronunciation. It's the same way. Each has its own 